Hi guys, Karita here. So this is more of a channeled message than a healing. Um, and it wasn't specifically for the collective, but I feel it's something that we should all be aware of because it may be really helpful, not only to ourselves, but to the people who are kind of going through some stuff at the moment. Ooh, sorry about the traffic noise. Uh, but basically this has come about because I was trying to send some healing to the various conflicts going around the world this morning, specifically the whole Israel-Palestine situation. I was just trying to send some healing there to ease the pain and suffering of all involved and just to help bring about a peaceful solution for that whole region pretty much in the world. Because, um, you know, there, there's no winners in war. There's just different types of pain. Um, and so that was my intention this morning was to focus on that part of the world and to send them some healing. But interestingly, my guide straight away kind of showed me that whole area is in this like bubble and I couldn't actually get to it. And then they'll also show me, you know, it's not the only war that's going on in the planet and there's lots of other hot spots around and they were showing me all of these other little bubbles around the planet that are, you know, hot spots and conflict zones at the moment. And they were saying how it's not for me to actually send them here. Like, even if I wanted to, I probably even couldn't get through these almost like force filled bubbles because what's going on in these regions is it's kind of like a, almost like a karmic fish tank that's going on so they're almost like they're energetically being protected from the outside so that people sort of can't send healing energy in because there's something playing out in these regions on the planet and the way they were showing me is um it's almost like these karmic throwbacks to other lifetimes, other civilizations, other dimensions even. Because at one point they were showing me how um, two kind of planets were at war in some other dimension or, you know, somewhere else in our galaxy and they've effectively destroyed one another. And now it's almost like the souls of that war have reincarnated on the planet. Some of them are in that particular spot on the planet right now in the Israel-Gaza Strip. Um, and it's kind of playing out again in a very karmic way because they're almost like um, being another chance to go through that lesson again. Can they change the outcome that they had last time, almost like in another dimension, in another timeline? And that is also then playing out in all these other skirmishes and wars that are happening around the planet that, you know, just because the media doesn't pay attention to them doesn't mean that they're not happening. So I thought that was really interesting. And... Um, they're going on to say about how so if we are finding ourselves on the outside of these bubbles that we're not in the conflict zone ourselves but we are on the outside and we are finding ourselves triggered in some way um, it's actually because we have some sort of energetic uh, or past life connection to the trauma that's going on because these traumas are being brought up again to heal almost like past life trauma of previous wars and um, collapses of civilization that we have been involved in, say like Atlantis or something else. And even though Atlantis isn't direct, I don't feel Atlantis collapsing is related karmically to the whole Israel-Gaza situation. I feel that's more possibly other conflicts in the world. Um, but there's like this collective remembrance of trauma around the collapse of your whole world effectively and for some of us it happened so fast we actually couldn't sort of process it at the time when we died and so that's why it's sort of st almost trapped in our cellular memory and so when we get triggered by these um, conflicts around in our current timeline it's there as a way to help us see or like a roadmap so okay I'm being triggered by this situation follow that feeling and find the root cause of it just follow keep asking okay What's behind that? What's behind that? What's behind that? And you kind of almost get to this long forgotten sorrow, grief, anger, whatever it is that you may not even be consciously aware of where it's coming from, but it's something that's really, really old. It's in your body so deep. And it's about acknowledging that it's there because maybe in the past life you didn't have a chance to process and acknowledge and move it through, but you're here now. It's being triggered again and it's there for us to now follow that roadmap to this kind of origin point and acknowledge that first original pain effectively because then 
that allows us to heal that's uh, almost like a energetic imprint that's been running through generations and bloodlines and time and it's just it's like it heals it at the origin point and that sort of has a flow and effect so that it will eventually heal at this point in time so I thought that was really interesting I thought everyone <laughs> should know because you know it's not great watching what's going on in the world um, you know there's so many conflicts on the planet they sort of pop up here and there everywhere um, and so if you do find yourself being really triggered emotionally or you know whether it's sadness anger whatever it is that you're feeling allow yourself to sit with that feeling and follow it because it's not necessarily about what's happening in the here and now there's something that's stored in your memory like your body memory that wants to be seen and acknowledged um yeah so hopefully that is helpful it actually reminds me of a channeled healing i did a couple of years ago which i will link to in the description below which is all about tapping into kind of unexplained sadness and the warrior within because we've had many lifetimes as warriors and different sort of on the battlefield or being victims in war and casualties of war like we've all had many lifetimes in the different scenarios and it's about tapping into that and letting that be released once and for all so i will include a link to that healing in the description box below but anyway i just want to share that with you today um yeah and see what comes of it let me know if this resonated with you let me know if you choose to tap into the feelings that you're feeling around different conflicts at the moment and if you follow that and where that takes you love to hear the self-work that people are doing out there in the world because it's so valuable all right my loves i'll catch you in another video bye